welcome. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and my channel is House Phone Floof. I make videos all about travel and motherhood. This week we are camping on the Bolivar Peninsula, which is on the Gulf of Mexico. We are on the other side of Galveston, Texas. This is about an hour and a half outside of Houston and we discovered this place about a year ago because they actually have free beach camping. And this is a really cool beach because the sand is quite moist, so it's hard packed, which means big rigs like ours can drive on this beach, no problem. We have four wheel drive in our truck, but honestly, I don't even think that you would need it necessarily. It's not fluffy, powdery sand, it's really hard packed. Another thing that's really great about this beach is you can bring your golf cart, you can bring your toys. Um, we brought our ATV this weekend. For the first time in our toy hauler, we actually loaded up the ATV we're about two hours from home. We live right outside of Houston and we thought this would be a great place to give our toy hauler a test run. Um, we've taken this camper to some state parks, but we've never actually taken one of our toys. So Stefan and Sophie are having a great time cruising along the beach and just making the most of this gorgeous weather here in Bolivar Peninsula. Camping is allowed anywhere on the 27 miles of beaches here on Bolivar Peninsula and Crystal Beach. I've seen, like I said, rigs of all sizes. We're in a big toy hauler. I've seen vans, I've seen car camping, tent camping, um, pretty much anything that you can think of. But it's a great spot because while it does get busy on holiday weekends, on a regular weekend like this, we're all actually pretty spread out, which is awesome. There are a handful of porta potties along the beach that serve as restrooms. If you're in a camper like ours, obviously you don't have to worry about that. We just hit up a larger gas station on the way home that allows us to dump. You could probably also go to one of the RV resorts here on the island and dump there for a fee. All vehicles parked on the beach do have to display a Bolivar Beach parking sticker, which is $10 and you can get virtually anywhere on the island, any little store or gas station will have them and these stickers are actually good for a full calendar year so anytime you get it up to December 31st of that year the sticker is valid. We chose to camp on Bolivar Beach which is about 3.7 miles from the ferry that actually runs over to Galveston so if you want to drop your rig and then just take your car and head over to Galveston for the day you can totally do that. You could also take your rig and go over to Galveston if that's the way that you want to head home or if you're camping for one day on Bolivar and then maybe one day on Galveston Island you can take the ferry. The ferry is free and it actually runs 24 hours a day. There are some great apps online. Um, I think they actually have a Twitter account as well that shows you the wait times, obviously around like lunchtime, dinner time, the lines are longer. We actually had to wait on a holiday weekend once for like two hours in the line. And it's like once you get in the line, you're pretty much stuck, especially if you are pulling a camper. So just be aware of that. So let's get down to the logistics. Once you actually get to the beach, you can park anywhere. Most people tend to park closer to the sand dunes just to kind of give you more space away from the water. And it does give you a little bit of wind protection. The hard packed sand makes it really easy to deploy your jacks and get stabilized. It's not, like I said, the fluffy sand. It's always very damp. And because this beach does allow ATVs and golf carts and things like that, it can get noisy, especially on holiday weekends when there's a lot of traffic. So just be aware, um, especially during the day, you will hear people riding back and forth in their toys. But I mean, it's free camping on the beach, so you really can't complain too much. The other great thing that we love about this beach is they allow bonfires. So we typically will just dig a hole and have a fire at night to do s'mores. That's always a big highlight for us here. This beach is also pet friendly, so we always make sure to bring our dog as well. If you guys have any more questions about Bolivar Beach and camping here, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. A great resource is campendium.com. As you guys know, if you've been around for a while, this is the primary website that we use to find free places to camp. I love that you can leave reviews on there and people actually do utilize that so you can see pretty much any time of year a recent review where someone will let you know the conditions of the beach. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this footage from our time here. We have been having an absolute blast. The kids love it. This is actually 
one of the first times that Sienna has walked for a good distance by herself. And I mean, what better place to learn how to walk than on the beach? Because if you fall, it's gonna be soft. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. As always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it really supports our channel. And if you're new here, please subscribe. See you guys in my next video. Bye.